Hey, what's going on, everyone? Sly here with D and D, man. Second week of OTAs and the media got to be there. So we were hearing some things about Brock Purdy. I'm telling you, I told you, I called you up real light, quick and I was like, dude, we got to do a video on this connection with Brock Purdy and these damn rookies, man. Absolutely awesome. Seeing Ricky Purcell get involved with Brock Purdy and then Jacob Cowing, a guy that I've been telling you about, man. I told you he has that Deshaun Jackson in him. Same size, same weight, same speed and beautiful route run today. I think he got up, was it like a post mm -hmm. and it was the best catch of the day. Um, just kind of with ease man and that's one thing he's great out is that damn um is the freaking his route running it's the exact opposite as your yeah. boy bow the exact opposite as your other boy um who's the other guy oh uh kenny green yeah so it's like the exact opposite man so i absolutely love what i saw there from brock purdy the connection there um obviously we got one guy out there um i'm not gonna even say his name but he had him the not so good because he did throw an interception however yeah. everyone else was saying he Your was freaking. <laughs> <laughs> everyone else was saying that uh purdy did awesome but you know one guy said that purdy you know everything everything about purdy he the guy hates but anyway what do yeah. you think about this um the connection with the young guys man what do you think about today man well i think it's huge because um one thing really like like just like post super bowl i remember i was like wondering how purdy was going to come into this uh season because i remember i remember when uh cap Lots of Super Bowl, and then he's like, I went back to training that same week. And people are like, maybe you should go, like, clear your head, type of thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. And so you saw that with Brock Purdy. I mean, he was at the concert with uh, Kittle. He didn't drink, but they were passing out beer, and they were, like, just having fun. Mm -hmm. And you see him. He's also been the, um, doing, like, commercial traveling with his wife. And so he's been actually, um, as far as, like, having fun, but also he's one of the only captains to actually be Show on the practice. Up. Yeah, because yeah. Warner, I heard, was watching – both, I think, was only there just for like a uh, the first week. Yeah. yeah, and then right now he's uh, resting. Just resting there, and so for him to be one of like him and the Debo were like the only kinda, two. Yeah, only two leaders that were out there. That's huge to see because one, it shows Debo he wants to get like back in shape. Because I always think about that season when he was like fat and had a shave and a belly. <laughs> yeah. And so now that he's focused, like it's, it's nice to see that. And then with him having the connection with the the rookie, Purcell, uh, two rookies, uh, Purcell and Kelly, yeah, yeah. Um, had that deep ball. And so I don't look too much about that pick because even though he had that pick to the um, Salas boy, uh, uh, Dimitri, yeah, yeah. Uh, even though he had a, a pick to that a guy, it seemed like more like him trying to make a play or trying to force the ball, which it's like, all right, like I kind of see that because there's going to be some games where, you know, maybe we have to come from behind because everyone says, oh, we got to prove ourselves to come from behind. And so he's, he's probably going to have to make some plays, uh, Especially if we're playing a lot of the, like the winning teams, he's gonna have to make some plays this season. So that didn't really mind. The other quarterback who threw that pick, that was way really worse because I heard he overthrew the guy and then it Allen. went right into the receiver's hands. Daryl Lewis, the yeah. quarterback. And uh, so that's like more like uh, concerning. I don't even think that guy's gonna make the team, but with Brock Purdy, it's good that he's having the connections, that he's actually out there. He's showing that the young guys, like, yo, this is what it takes like to win. And so I'm looking forward to like the already how the season is, and I I think they're after a good like summer start. Oh man, I love it, man! I think it's awesome that this guy's out there, and he's not afraid. One of the first passes was to rookie Ricky Purcell, mm -hmm. um, caught the ball. I don't know, I forgot who it was against. I think it was the guy um, from the Saints, Yar okay, Yarin. Yeah, yeah. That was the first one, um, and he just he like screw. It. I don't care if you're a rookie or not. I'm you better be ready. And Ricky Purcell was ready, man. So this yeah. is two good weeks in a row for Ricky Purcell. The first OTAs, I think he had two catches. Catches this one, two catches, and I'm I'm digging it because a lot of times these rookies early they struggle, man. I remember yeah. Danny Gray struggled. I remember your boy Dante Pettis struggled. Yeah. <laughs> uh, guys over and over kept struggling. Um, and he's right, he's right there. He's going, man. He's not afraid. Mm -hmm. And it's good to see that these two are having that connection because I think they're going to, it's going to happen in the season. One of our guys might go down these three receivers and Ricky Purcell has got to be ready. And so far, so good, man. I told you when we did that video, I did a video with a reaction. I was bummed out because there was other guys I did want, but I did tell, say one thing, this guy, there's no chance this guy's going to be a bust. There's yeah. no chance. This guy was so good in college last year. I think, um, he didn't drop one ball last year. So he's, 
he's going to be at worst a Danny Amendola. Yeah. Uh, if we, if we could get him to be like a Wes Welker or uh your boy Edelman. Ooh, yeah. I know every, I know everyone's comparing the white guys, but still hey man, he has that in him, man. And he's faster than these guys too, other guys. So those guys with the Patriots, so I'm loving him, man. I Even think... if he has like a season like this year like similar to uh, Jennings and uh what's the other guy? Conaway? Yeah, uh, he Conaway during the playoffs. Class, yeah, absolutely. Like that's going to be huge cuz even like when we uh in the playoffs Who's everyone going to have their eye on? They're going to have it on Ayuk. They're mm -hmm. going to have it on Debo. And so uh, if he could even make like some of the plays like, um, uh, wasn't it uh, Conaway? Like, yeah. like all the... Uh, yeah. Um, he saw the, the team too. Yeah, yeah, he saw the team. Yeah, but even if teams, he can make yeah. plays like that where he was huge during the uh, the Lions game and even like the Super Bowl, he mm -hmm. made some Big huge plays. catches. Yeah. yeah. And so if he could even like do something similar to that to the, where he could um, help... Uh, uh, tarnish like the of uh, the load of the the superstars that we have on our team. Like that, I'll take that man. That'd be huge because again, um, we have a lot of weapons, and it's good to see him get some touches. Got hurt. Your boy Ronnie Bell had a <laughs> rough, oh, uh, yeah, rough day, so he was getting passive broken up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if his hands are too small, but it was good to see that the the rookie was outshining him. Cause I think he's gonna have a big year this year. Yeah, dude. And Con Connor, wait, uh, excuse me. Uh, the guy, Cowley from Arizona. I'm just yeah. starting to blink right now. But, dude, that thing that I loved about him so much was that route running, man. If you have that great route running, he did that at Arizona, even at UTEP. Mm -hmm. He was out there with amazing uh, uh, route running, Jacob Cowley. So, I think, dude, with him and Purdy already starting that connection early on in OTAs. We're talking about, we're like late May. Imagine a few months when these guys can uh, continue to get together. I think next week is minicamp. Dude, I'm I'm pumped up, man, because we haven't really had those young rookies. Even uh, Ayuk, his first year, yeah, it was like in the doghouse. Yeah, a lot of the But we were in seeing the with house. these two, and and it kind of showed even in the his rookie um, OTAs minicamp. Ayuk, it wasn't that it wasn't all going on smoothly. But we're here so far with these two guys, man. It's looking like we might have hit with these two receivers, mm -hmm. which is absolutely insane. If these two guys hit. It's the best receiving core in the NFL. I know I really do like the Packers. They have those young weapons out yeah. there. But, man, dude, if we get these two young rookies along with our studs, Debo, Ayuk, and then Jennings, who freaking almost won the MVP of the damn Super Bowl, mm -hmm. if uh, – I'm not going to get into that. But if we were, he would have been the MVP if we would have won that damn game. Yeah. So – we're talking about from one to five, man. We got, and then we're probably getting another guy, six, uh, the guy you were just talking about from special teams yeah. last year. He didn't be our sixth guy. I don't think Danny Green's going to make the team. I don't think um, your boy Ronnie Bell's going to make the team either. So, yeah. But that's a solid one through five right there. And if this continues, man, I'm pumped up. And I love the way that Purdy just not afraid to throw the damn ball down the field. Yeah. That post, uh, uh, Jacob Cowling, absolutely amazing. But one thing that Brian Greasy did say, though, he said this, uh, in I think of last week, he's like, I love what Brock Purdy is doing going downfield, but sometimes I this year I want him to do checkdowns. Yeah, and that's something that as Niner fans we hated because for twenty plus years we've had quarterbacks check down Jimmy G, check down Alex Smith. Smith. It yeah, was quarterbacks was that would always go party. check down, always going check down, and that pissed yeah. us off. If we could do a little bit of check downs, not a lot, but if he goes down the field and then another play, boom, get a check down for five six yards. Dude, I'll take yeah. that all day yeah. of the week. As long as he's looking downfield first, no one's open, then you go to the check down. Mm -hmm. We could be even more dangerous, man. Because sometimes yeah. he did force a little bit. Um, but if he could uh, do what Brian Greasy says, implement that game, and that should be the easiest part. You throw a damn check down. Like, come on. But I love the way he goes downfield. But if he could just get it all together, I think he might have a better season than last year, which is hard to do. Yeah. But... I'm pumped up, man. Just what a good start so far in OTAs. Because last year, no matter what they say, all those guys that were all fanboying over Trey Lance and uh, Sam Darnold, it was mostly Trey Lance. Yeah. They were inconsistent in OTAs in minicamp. Yeah, we got to be honest. By, by the, last by this year, time, this last year, we, we last year they were the inconsistent. Bad. One game they had a good OTAs, years. one game bad from Darnold and Trey Lance. So far, so good with uh, our boy, so uh, Brock Purdy, and I'm loving it, man. Yeah, that that's really like uh good to hear too, cause the only person obviously there's only like one hater on our guy, but other than that, a lot of good stuff that I was like caring about him, and even like with the like the pick, to be honest, like dude, I expect our defense to be like a lot better mm -hmm. than last year too. Yeah, and so and like even that, that that's not really concerning. If it was like more like the Brandon Allen pick, then I'd be like, oh, then that's like, and even in practices last year, Brock was throwing a lot of interceptions. He said, you know what, I'm taking more chances in the in the hub practices you know yeah. that he was remember last year during training camp he was throwing some interceptions but uh 
it proved in the uh, regular season it didn't matter because he kept those interceptions pretty low obviously that three game losing streak he had those interceptions but yeah. for the most part look at his touchdown interception ratio one of the best in the nfl so i'm not concerned at all but um i like it man i think it's gonna be a great season and lights went out but we don't give a damn man lights are not going out this year we're gonna win yeah. this damn super bowl <laughs> but that's what we got man make sure to like comment subscribe what do you guys think? We're hearing about Brock Purdy. You guys pumped up about this week two OTAs, next week minicamp? Let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you next time. Peace.